Good evening, and welcome to St. Peter's Episcopal Church. Today is May the 5th, 2020, and we are glad you can join us. We remind you that evening prayer will be tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. If you can join us right here on Facebook Live. Uh, we'll have Compline again at 8 o'clock on Thursday and evening prayer at 6 p.m. on Friday. Our Sunday service is at 11 a.m. It's available here at Facebook Live on our Facebook page or it's also available on our YouTube channel. Um, you can just go to YouTube and search for St. Peter's Episcopal Church, Conway. And uh, the service will be available for you to watch approximately an hour after the service itself. Um, we ask you to join us after the service on Sunday um, around noon for our virtual coffee hour, which has been a lot of fun. Um, if you haven't already signed up, Please send your name and email address to virtualcoffeehour at stpetersconway.com and we will send you a link to join in on that. We remind you about our virtual prayer list, uh, which you may have received in an email. We get our weekly email. Uh, there's a link there that you can add folks to the prayer list. Um, we ask you to include first names and to always check with those individuals before adding their name to the list. Um, ladies in the Episcopal Church, you may have received um, an inf a note in your email to contact me if you're interested in contributing to um, our latest endeavor through the Episcopal Church women in the Diocese of Arkansas. Um, we're going to create a book using the daily office lectionary readings and anyone can participate um, just send me in your email and let me or send me an email let me know that you're interested and I'll get you the details an order for Compline begins on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let us say together Psalm 31, found on page 129. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord. O God of truth, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
Continue at the bottom of page 131. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Continue with the versicle and response in the middle of page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, I invite your intercessions and thanksgivings. We pray for all the family of St. Peter's, especially Bonda and Norm, Lee and Linda, Jeannie, Mary Ann, Doug, all those who work in the healthcare profession, all those who are first responders, all those impacted and fighting coronavirus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue at the bottom of page 134 together. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Join me in the Song of Simeon at the top of page 135. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. We thank you for joining us tonight. Take care, be safe, and God bless you.